Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shira and I post planner related videos on this channel. So, I haven't been here in a while. Um, you guys are pretty aware probably. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did kind of talk about what happened while I was gone. Um, but today I do have a pretty different video for you guys. Um, you've probably seen in the title and the thumbnail. Um, so this will be a bullet journal setup for 2019, but I did want to give anyone who was curious some of the information on just like what happened basically and how I ended up in a bullet journal. Um, so if you're not interested in like hearing about my life and like how I ended up in a bullet journal, you can totally skip to this um, time. Just skip over there and you'll be able to just see the entire bullet journal set up. Um, I am setting this up for 2019, um, but I did want to give just, you know, life updates and etc. But so life update, um, I was on a hiatus for a few months, uh, probably like two, maybe three months, um, mainly because um, I had a really stressful job and on top of that, I was job hunting in order to, you know, fix the situation. But so because of that, I had to close the shop for a bit, just really focus on things that I really needed to do. My mental health was definitely suffering, so I just needed to take a step back. Um, it's really interesting because planners usually, we use them to help us out with like all the stresses of life. But when life gets a little too stressful, like a planner is definitely one of those things that you just let go of right away. So that's definitely what happened to me. But along the way, um, as I was talking to friends, um, I ended up kind of bullet journaling. So this is the bullet journal I've been using for the last um, maybe couple of months. Um, initially, I was definitely doing more um, just journaling style things. There's a lot of like really private things in here, so I'm not going to show you everything. So I'm gonna start here, which was the very end of me like just journaling in it. So initially I did just journal in it. It wasn't like anything too serious. Like I was just, you know, writing quotes. This was something that I wrote here on the day that I watched Wicked in San Diego. Um, so just so things like that. But um, eventually I did decide to um, actually like bullet journal in here, like do my plans in here and I used to always think that bullet journaling was a lot of work. I've actually attempted it before. Um, and like I said, it did just feel like a lot of work. But the more I watched people who've set up their planners or their bullet journals and stuff like that, the more I realized that it wasn't too bad, that it wasn't the most stressful thing in the world, that it was actually really helpful to be creative enough to make spreads and whatnot. So I thought I'd give it a shot in December. So I didn't actually start doing the bullet journal setup and whatnot until this month, which literally we are just almost ending the month, which means we're also ending the year. Um, but I just kind of started this and I started posting it on Instagram. So if you're interested in some of the pages that I may not be showing you today just because of all the personal information that goes into it, um, like feel free to go to my Instagram. It's always linked down below. Um, it is love that Shira if you don't want to go in there. But yeah, so I did just set this up and I do just work on weeklies and stuff like that. Um, there's still this much of the journal left. Um, I'm not gonna use it for my actual 2019 bullet journal actually. I'll probably use it for other things. But um, the reason being is this is a Loish term. 1917 in a5 with the gray cover um and while it's not the worst thing in the world i'm not a fan of just the like bleeding situation i'm gonna show you not bleeding i guess but so the like like you could see through the paper like you could totally see in this lighting that it's a little thinner which i mean i don't expect it to be like a hundred percent like thick or whatever but um it does kind of bother me when things kind of 
um, shadow through. Um, I did a good amount of research on this, but I picked up the Scribbles That Matter journal. This is the periwinkle blue one. It's the dotted A5 size, so it's literally the exact same size as the Leuchtturm. But so I did pick this up off of Amazon. I haven't even opened it yet because I was like, I really want to open it on camera because I haven't even touched the paper. I haven't really seen it. So it is a little bit of like a first impression. So first off, I'm just going to open up my planner. Like I said, I didn't really open it up yet, but I'm just going to go in straight to the beginning of writing my name. And when I start using this bullet journal, which is going to be January 1st, 2019, I'm just using a Tombow Fudenosuke pen. I think it's the hard tip one. And then a pen from Miniso, which has actually become one of my favorite pens recently. For the cover page for 2019, I'm just using a Tombow dual tip brush pen to write out the numbers for 2019. Um, it is a little bit off-centered, but throughout this experience of setting up my bullet journal, I've kind of realized how it's so much easier to embrace imperfections and like making mistakes in this space than it is within like the sticker community i don't know what it is but just because it's so freeform i just find it so much easier to be creative in this space um, i still do really love using stickers in my planner i will still be using an erin condren for this year however it will be more um memory based planning or memory keeping instead of like planning so here i'm just quickly comparing the paper between the two um, journals you saw the Leuchtturm on top of the Scribbles That Matter journal and the Leuchtturm is a little bit more yellow. Here I am debuting my You Are My Moon and Stars washi. Uh, this is a washi that will be coming to my shop probably in January, um, but I haven't really shown people this too much yet. Um, this is it rolled out. It just says You Are My Moon and Stars. It's galaxy themed and the foil is hollow. Um, I know I'm not showing the top half of this spread, but I will show it in a little bit. I do plan on putting photos in the middle of this, but I just didn't want to do it on camera just because I wasn't quite sure yet what photos I would actually want to put there. On the right, I'm just doing a grid spacing um, spread to figure out how many spaces I need for halves or quarters or thirds and stuff like that. This is an idea that I got from um, Amanda Rachley. A lot of the ideas that I have are either from her or other YouTubers and people on Pinterest and stuff like that. Um, this was where I started really embracing the fact that it's okay to make mistakes in your journal. I made several mistakes on this page and I just felt a lot more okay about it. I think like if I wasn't too involved or I didn't really see how bullet journal journalers are like on YouTube and stuff like that, I probably would have ripped that page out. I know it like breaks the binding and all that, but honestly, back then I probably wouldn't have cared, but I've definitely seen that a lot of people on YouTube that post their setups and whatnot, they're a lot more open to the fact that they can make mistakes as they create these things. So here I just flipped the page and I am working on my year at a glance. Um, I made a couple of mistakes here too, but initially I wasn't sure if I actually had enough room to write the days of the week. Um, I eventually realized that I will probably get confused if I don't put the days of the week. So I do wipe that entire thing out and write the days. So in the first half of me filming this, this was probably filmed in two separate days. Um, the first half, I didn't really use a pencil because I was just all in. I wanted to just set things up and do it. Um, this is the first time I'm filming a bullet journal spread. So I'm still learning how to actually work on these things versus just like my regular Erin Condren stuff. I think one thing that I can do as I do this is just block out what I want to do in pencil or something like that. I do use pencil a lot more in the latter half of this spread. So on the left side, I'm just putting a quote, which is look at the stars, look how they shine for you, which is from Coldplay from a song. Um, I wanted to theme the start of my bullet journal as this whole galaxy theme. Um, it's something I've always been really into. Um, and plus I had washi that was set up for it. Um, but I really just wanted to use some of my favorite colors, which are pink, purple, and blue. And they're very like galaxy-ish. 
it's not like a strict galaxy theme, but um, there are a lot of notes that kind of hint towards a galaxy theme. So I did just want to do that. Um, like I said, I didn't really use pencil in this part of the spread yet. I do wish I did just because block letters are something I'm not super comfortable with. I do think they turned out fine, like the part where it says stars and shine, but I think I could have done better. But like I said, embracing imperfections. That's definitely something I'm looking to do a lot more of because of the fact that I'm in a bullet journal space now, I guess. So this next page is going to be my future log. It's for whenever I have plans for a specific month or something like that. I was referencing back to my grid spacing page really quickly, but this is just to put down events or tasks that I that are specific to a month when I don't have that spread quite yet. Um, so I did just divide the page into six, I guess they're columns. Um, yeah, six columns and then divided them in half and then wrote all the months out. Um, one thing that I wasn't quite sure about, because this is the first time I'm actually using a bullet journal for the full year, was I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually write the months specifically in the top half of this little column. So I figured that wasn't a lot of space for me to write events and stuff like that. Um, if I did do that, so I'm leaving it blank for now, but as I move through the months, I might actually write the months out. Um, like I said, I am still really new to this, so I'm still exploring what spreads really work for me and what doesn't. Because this is the first full time I've done it, I don't really know what, ha what works and what doesn't for me. For my weekly spreads, I think I've started to kind of build a rhythm towards what is something that I would like to do if I had more time, what's something I'd do if I was really short on time and stuff like that, what works for what I need and all that. But the whole yearly situation, I haven't really figured out. This next page is another idea that I got from Amanda Rachley. It is the year in Polaroid. So I did just use a Polaroid photo that I already had to mark these 12 boxes. And I will try to put a Polaroid for each month. I have a Polaroid printer, which makes it easier because I don't have to lug around a Polaroid camera. I wrote down the months. Um, I'm using a Tombow Mangaka pen, I think that's what it's called. And I just wrote out 2019 in Polaroids. I'm also drawing out these um, little sparkle star things across the pages. But I just wanted to use it a lot more. I think I kind of stopped using it when I was in rings and strings because I felt like the thick paper that comes or that you use for Polaroids was just too thick for that spread or for those setups and stuff like that. I know it's probably just as thick for something like this because it is in journal form, but I do just want to try it out. So here on the right, I am writing out this quote, which is maybe I belong among the stars. Um, I did write it out in pencil. Like I said, this latter half, I tried to really just use pencil a little bit more. I'm still somewhat embracing imperfections. I'm not looking for it to be too perfect, but I do at least still want to plan out how I want it to look. Because the last thing I want is to feel this like huge urge to just rip a page out. I know it's probably counterintuitive, but I think some things I'm learning to be more open about the imperfections. I'm still whiting things out and all that, but I think I'm just embracing the imperfections within the process, if that makes sense. So this was a page that took forever because I wanted to really fill out the entire thing. I even tested out a Sharpie marker that had a really broad tip to try to fill out this page, but it was just bleeding all over the place. So I just continued with my Tombow um, brush pens. Um, it isn't perfect, but I kind of like how it turned out all like hatchy, like in pattern and stuff like that. I did use a Tombow Futabiori that is metallic gold to write out the, the stars part. My camera cut off at that point, but I flipped over to the next page. I'm not writing on the left side just because I feel like sometimes when you have a lot of color on the back of a page, when you write on it, it bleeds through to the next page or it like transfers some of the color. So I do want to avoid that. I wrote out 2019 goals in the middle and I'm writing personal shop and career on the side so I could just write down some goals that I have in those areas. 
This next page is a recommendations page or really just trying to figure out or mark down things I want to try to consume. So basically I'll write down recommendations that people have that I think I would want to try out this year. I'm dividing it into four columns and the first column is read. The next one is listen, watch, and then eat. So I want to write down anything that I want to do in those areas like music, books, um, TV shows, um, food places, etc. This next page is the last page of this setup. Actually, I used this washi from Oso Paperies and the washi that will be coming to my shop again. I am writing down a section for bujo ideas as well as shop ideas just so I have a running list, an area to kind of just write all my ideas out and it doesn't have to be specific to a month or anything like that. I really loved how it turned out. It's so simple how I've set up this journal, but I do think that's my general style and all that. I haven't really figured out what I want for my key yet just because I don't know what works and doesn't yet, but I'm quickly filling out the index and I'll do a flip through of all the pages I've set up. But so I didn't set up January 2019 yet. I was wondering if I would potentially do a, um, another plan with me with that. I'm not really sure yet just because um, it is really close to January already and I'm really trying to figure out if that's something that I would want to do so close to filming another video. But January is my birthday month, so I thought it would be a really special spread. It'd be my first monthly spread as well. So we'll see if I actually do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed setting up my bujo, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!